What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean Gill, CPA with Neutron Tax. Today's video is all about tax penalties and interest. All the fun stuff. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna cover the different kind of penalties, what they look like, what the rules are, and give you some pro tips on it. So the first penalty I'm gonna cover is the failure to file penalty. Now this is the easiest one to avoid. You get this penalty if you just miss the tax deadline for filing your return. Not paying, just filing it. So this penalty is 5% of your unpaid taxes for every month that your tax return is late, up to a maximum penalty of 25%. 25%, that's a lot. Now, there's a minimum penalty of $450 after 60 days of your tax return being late. So I say this is the easiest one to avoid because even if you don't have the money to pay your taxes, at least get your tax return filed so you don't have to pay a couple hundred bucks just for waiting to file the form. You're not gonna save any money on the, on the uh, failure to pay penalty. You're just gonna cost yourself more money by waiting to file the return. If you don't have the money, that's one thing, but still, file the return. You can figure out a way to pay it later. So that's the first penalty, and it's the one that's initially the largest. The next penalty is the failure to pay. Now this is half a percent, so 0.5% of the unpaid taxes for each month that the return or the balance is not paid. Now this can go also up to a maximum of 25%, um, and it goes, again, until that balance is fully paid. If you incur both penalties at the same time, failure to file and failure to pay, instead of it being 25.5% every month, they uh, combine to a, a total of 25%. So the failure to file penalty goes down to 24.5%, and then there's the 0.5% from the failure to pay. Overall, if you have both of these going, they can max out to a total of 47.5% of your unpaid tax balance. That's a lot of money. So this is why it's very important to avoid these penalties, at least the failure to file, like just file, okay? Now, these are the two main penalties that everybody gets, um, you know, if they don't file their tax return or pay their taxes. Now, on top of this, the IRS throws what's called just interest, right? We all know this. So not only will you get the failure to file penalty, then the failure to pay penalty, you will also accrue interest daily on the unpaid tax balance. Now, what is the interest rate? So this is a good question. The interest rate changes every quarter based on the federal funds rate plus 3%. So back when interest rates were lower in the country, in general, like a couple years ago, they were, you know, 2.5%, 2%, 3%, 3%. Throw another 3% on there, that was the rate. At the making, at the time of the making of this video, which is uh, fall 2023, the rate is right now 7%. So 7% daily interest, it's very high. So you throw that on to a 5% monthly, uh, rate between the failure to file fa failure to pay that's a lot of penalty and a lot of interest so i always encourage people to get your tax return in and then try to at least get on a payment plan with the irs if you can't uh, make your payment this way they're at least aware that you are trying to pay your balance and you can be considered for a compromise or a lower penalty at some point in the future. They're still gonna charge you tax, even if you have an installment, or not tax, they're still gonna charge you interest even if you have an installment agreement, but it's something that's still worth strongly considering. Now, if you're in a situation where you may be on the verge of incurring these penalties or have some questions about if you are going to incur them, you can schedule a call with me at the link in the description below and we can talk through just some of the basics and I can give you an idea of what to watch out for or I can at least help you strategize on how to minimize these penalties and interest. Um, if you're trying to get your tax return filed in a timely manner so you don't incur these penalties, you can also schedule a call with me at the link in the description below and we can start to work with you to get that done. I appreciate you watching this video. If you learned something or enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment. I reply to all the comments. And if you have any questions, you can also ask that in the comments and I will answer. Um, I appreciate you again watching this video, and if you need our help, the link is in the description below. I will catch you in the next one. Thank you. So that was the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps me grow the channel. If you need help with your taxes, you can book a call with me directly at the link below in the description, and you can also sign up for our email list 
We only send out an email about once a month, and that's everything I need to tell you. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Have a good day. Appreciate the views.